Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. Once again, we are seeing Ivory King versus Fred, and once again, one guys are planes. I remain Shadow for CC3, your commentator, and Fred starting on the east side of the map, going for Cloaky Bots, going a bit more typical this time, and Ivory King once again on the left side of the map, going for light vehicles instead. So Ivory King has been it was what was it? It was hovercrafts, Cloaky Bot light vehicle, and for Fred it was shields, spiders, and Cloaky. So Fred's been a little bit more typical, though light vehicles in this map is not atypical. It's actually a pretty good map for, well, for some... I mean, spiders really don't do especially well. I mean, it was kind of surprising Fred was able to hold out that long with his spiders against Cloakies, but spiders historically have not done well against Cloakies. That's one of the reasons for Venom's getting damage boosts, is, or getting damage at all, besides AMP, was that they wanted to have some chance against Glaze without having to have fleas nearby and the fleas get killed by the EMP and then... It just didn't really work out as well. However, Ivory King is going straight for levelers, not even going first for anything else. He's going straight for levelers, not going for raiding too much. He's expecting to have to defend, and that's how he's going to play it out. Though he does only have one defender. He's focusing a bit more on units for defense. While Fred getting his light laser turrets, all the games Fred has been starting out a bit more defensively than Ivory King has. This has actually been quite typical. For all three of them. Ivory King once again going down to the south side of the map. Trying to make sure he takes that. Takes the four metal mechs here. And neither player really going for the north side either. I'm still not sure why. I mean, admittedly, it does feel probably does feel a little bit less defensible. Although it looks like Fred actually is going for the north side this time very early too. Rather than going for the southeast. And I can see why he wouldn't want to go for the southeast. There's only four metal here in metal extraction points. Whereas up here there's eight. And it's not too bad for defense. You have a choke point over here, and you have this section right here you can use. And on this map, it's actually fairly open regardless. I wouldn't say the south is more defensible than the south... Well, than the north. Definitely than... Well, uh, than the center, obviously. It doesn't seem that defensible overall, though. But it is definitely... Pop it is popular and does have a powerful metal extractor. Now, very quick ticks coming in for Fred to help take him out these levelers. And one of those levelers... Well, actually, it doesn't really matter. Unfortunately, the support unit, the Glaive here, not able to get enabled in time to get rid of that leveler, but the Slasher... Okay, the leveler was the bigger threat. The Slasher is able to go down as well, and that is really big. Fred's actually able to take a ton of metal from that. He's able to get... I mean, from there, he has two Glaives going straight to Zeus as well. Both players very quickly going to higher... Well, higher cost units. Now, the levelers I can see, because against Cloaky Bots, you want to have levelers. Anything else is going to be rather tricky to use to get rid of a bunch of Glaives. But getting Zeus is this early, I suppose because you want to counter the levelers. That's the main thing I think of. And also counter Ravagers, which are inevitably going to be coming afterwards. And they are going to be coming too. There are Ravagers right after this level or a Slasher. There's a Ravager coming in. So both players seem to be quite aware of what the other one's likely to come up with. Now, of course, more ticks coming in from Fred. That is going to be very useful. Ticks, of course, are extremely useful for Cloaky Bots. They're great for setting up ambushes and just set, generally setting up attacks because of course your opponents can't fight back they just sit there and die which is really handy when you're trying to fight someone and they just sit there and die it's very easy to win it's actually very hard to lose i challenge anyone to fight someone who's completely unable to fight back and lose or don't fight someone who's unable to fight back in real life that's just mean that that really is just mean seriously don't be a jerk like that but when it comes to a game a units in a game it's, it's a bit harder, and much less frowned upon. Anyway, Fred going in for a very, very powerful attack right now. The Zeus taking some damage from the Slasher, but not enough to stop it, and really, being that he was able to tank all that damage. Also, nicely getting rid of that tick there to the north. Ivory King does, I think, of another tick on the map, but... No, he doesn't, actually. He's... Sorry, not Ivory King, Fred. What am I saying? Fred, he didn't... I'm getting confused. I don't know why I'm getting confused. Cloaky Bots have ticks. Light vehicles do not. I'm just... I've seen so many games recently with a lot of Cloaky Bot factory being used on both sides that, for some reason, I'm expecting everyone to have ticks. Actually, Cloaky versus Shield, that's where it gets confusing because ticks and roaches. Never mind that. Point is, that tick was Fred's. It actually wasn't used especially well. It stopped the leveler, but it could have... Actually, at that point, it didn't really matter. There's not a lot of units that Ivory King even has for himself. Admittedly, that was kind of embarrassing. Anyway. With... 
Though Zeus coming in there, that is going to be... Actually, that Zeus even survived that attack, so... Yeah, at this point, Fred's really getting ahead in terms of how well he's using his economy. Going to the south, I think he, he does have radar on that, and Ivory King, does he have radar? He does, but only to the center of the map. He doesn't have radar into Fred's base or into the north side of the map where Fred has decided to set up his economy. So Fred definitely an advantage for intelligence. He knows exactly what's going on. Ivory King does not. Ivory King may suspect this stuff to the north, but he doesn't know it's there. And now the south, we see that the attack has been joined. There is... There is Fred's commander, not upgraded. Ivory King's commander has been upgraded. Riot Cannon, once again, same commander as the previous two games. Nice distraction with these glaives to the north. Just slowing things down enough so that the Rockos can get in and do their thing, getting rid of this metal extractor and the power plant supporting it. And also the Glaive is nice dealing enough damage that the Zeus's will be able to finish off the Ravager, that the Leveler could be, and probably will be, a bigger threat. However, Metal Extractor's gone down. The important part has happened. This Metal Extractor is gone. And the Power Plants around it also going gone. Going down, I should say. And the Rockos are going to be able to finish this stuff off. This Slasher actually should be able to get out of the way. The Slasher and Ravager should be able to leave, but even then... Oh no, the Slasher has been killed. The Ravager should be able to survive... I don't think any survive it tries to get in an attack. And this Slasher also going down very quickly. Nice shot with the Rockos there. Nice surround. And more Rockos and Warriors coming in. And also more ticks. Five ticks coming in just in case Fred needs them. I can, might as well use them. He could use them, I suppose. Get tick over to Ivory King's commanders. Finish them off that way. But yeah, Ivory King losing the south side of the map. Fred very quickly taking the north. Very quickly taking the economy in general. About to take out Ivory King's commander. Or at least heavily damage it. The center of the map, nothing can easily be done here. A leveler trying to take out this laser turret, but it's nicely protected by the solar plants. However, not protected enough. But at the south, that's where the real fight's going on, and that's where Ivory King is losing this fight. Get, losing all of his metal extractors. Ivory King's economy is now half of Fred's, and he is losing even that quickly. The only upside is that his levelers are being pretty much uncontested getting into Fred's base. So, both players seem to be almost going for a bit of a base swap. Neither player is defending their base that well, though Ivory King definitely more prepared for an attack coming in than Fred is. One of the levelers unable to do too much, and the other leveler is able to get rid of this laser turret, but the warrior coming in from behind will finish it off. Even the Scorcher coming in won't help it enough. The warriors are going to be doing great on defense. This Raptor is actually doing okay, but even then, it's not going to be enough. The warriors... Just with the rate of fire alone are going to be able to take out the Ravagers. And with the laser turret support, it's even better. Now this laser turret didn't even go down. The Lotus is still up. A Metal Extractor did go down, but at the same time, we see that the south side of Ivory King's base coming under attack. And this will be pretty much game. Ivory King has a fifth of the economy of Fred. And Fred has now taken down the south side as well. So Fred has the big Metal Extractor. He has an army that's just tearing down Ivory King's base. And Ivory King doing what he can with Scorchers. Taking out some stuff here and there, but even with that... Actually, we're losing one of the Scorchers to a tick. Nicely done. But even with that, that's going to be very little there. It's not really going to help. Now, I don't... I do see some ticks around the center of the map. There are some over here and such, but... Otherwise, I don't see a whole lot of them. And there we go. Fred accepting defeat from Ivory King. Ivory King... Actually, accepting Ivory King's surrender. And that is game three. These players have been actually pretty evenly matched at this point. So Ivory King losing a game to Fred once again, and... Ivory King actually nicely getting rid of Fred's base right before losing, but yeah, this is game. Ivory King is losing all of his units. He has one constructor to the north, but that's not going to do much good. So that was game. Hope you enjoyed that. Not sure if more are going to be played. Or if my voice will hold out. Probably will hold out. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that regardless, and and I think that will probably be it. So thank you for watching, and have a good night, everybody.